This is National Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Tonight, we look at advances in the treatment of metastatic breast cancer. That's when the disease spreads to distant parts of the body. The survival rate is low. Here's Dr. John LaPook. And let's see, let's take a look at what Dad's got in the oven. When Miriam Sloan was diagnosed with stage four or metastatic breast cancer two years ago, it had spread to her bone marrow, abdomen, and ovaries. I don't believe I'd ever experienced fear the way I did when I was told that I had metastatic breast cancer. We have a lot of work to do. To Dr. Linda Vidat directs breast cancer research at New York Presbyterian and Weill Cornell Medicine. We understand uh, how tumors grow, we understand how they spread, we have a lot of things to make people feel better, but at the end of the day, it's still their breast cancer that's killing them. How do you balance hope with reality? I always tell people that while stage four breast cancer is not a curable disease, it is a highly treatable disease. But not enough treatments exist. Dr. Vidat is working on a way to alter the environment in areas where cancer cells may spread. She's testing a drug that reduces the body's level of copper, an element those tumors need to flourish. So the cancer cell is floating around in the body trying to figure out a place to land, and basically your therapy makes it inhospitable. It, it can't grow there. That's exactly right. Sloam is on a different drug no. approved no. just last year that inhibits tumor growth for certain types of metastatic breast cancer. Right now, she has no detectable level of cancer. I think that things are starting to change, but it's still way early in the game. I want to live to see the word remission and cure apply to me too. And right now? It doesn't. It's great that researchers are coming up with some innovative approaches to treating patients with metastatic breast cancer. But Charlie, we clearly need a lot more research. Thanks, John.